In the Bronx, getting ready to go. Yankees and Twins, a makeup from their rain out earlier this summer in August. And Luis Heel towing the slab and the boogie down on a Monday afternoon. It's be his fifth start. The fastball well above average. Velocity spin and life. The slider really good too. And to me, the last piece of the puzzle for him is the confidence. Here's Jorge Polanco, most consistent hitter in the Twins lineup this season, having a really strong year. And Polanco lifts one high and deep, and there goes number 30. Jorge Polanco with his 30th of the year, and the Twins strike first two to nothing. Yeah, congratulations to Jorge. That's a franchise record right there for switch hitters. More than Chili Davis, more than Roy Smalley, and now Polanco alone atop that list with 30 home runs and now 88 knocked in. And that's the first home run allowed by Heal in his young big league career, and now five starts. So two down, and we'll see if Miguel Sano can snap his over. He's hitless over his last 13 at bats. Sano lifts one to left field and deep. Gallo is back. He's at the wall, and that's gone. Right on cue, Miguel indeed snaps the Ofer with his 27th home run. And that was a first pitch fastball. And Sano just cleared the wall and left. But Miguel adding on 4 0 Twins, all here in this great first inning. John Gant made his first start as a twin against these same Yankees back in August. Went three and a third, and got to limit the walks. Obviously, that's a high number, and he knows that. Another one right there, beaten into the ground. And in time to get him. Good play by Simmons. He had to skitter to his left a long way, and then kind of an awkward throw, but he got there. And this is a big exhale for Yankees fans, David. Just seeing Aaron Judge in the lineup today after he left last night with dizziness. And Judge works a two out walk. To now, wait a minute, let's see here. As Rocco Baldelli and Michael Salazar are there coming out to check. On John Gant. His fastball, we've seen hit 95, 96 miles per hour. And I think he hit 91 once, but they were all sitting at 88 and 89. Something might be up with Gant physically. So John Gant has to leave the game. And so now Farrell will try to pick up the game here. Here's Stanton, judge at first, two away. Two hopper to Donaldson, and there's the force play at second. And that's the end. Bats to begin the third. Byron hit the ball hard, but caught by Gallo in the first inning. And now Buxton lifts one to left and deep. Gallo's going back, and that ball's gone. Buxton connecting on the first pitch of the third inning, his 14th of the year, and it's five to nothing Twins. That was a fastball, and Buxton, he just, he's swinging early. Look at the scouting report on him. He likes to swing early in a count, and he got that fastball and turned it around pretty good. Smiles all around. Glaber Torres. Moving over to second base, not just for today, but perhaps for a longer period of time. Jorge Polanco. Polanco hit a two-run home run his first time. On one hop, Torres gets to it. One down. Yankees still looking for their first hit on the day. Gallo struck out his first time. And he bunts. Great drag bunt. That's going to be a base hit. First hit of the game for the Yankees. And a wise decision from Joey Gallo. We'll see if the Joey Gallo drag bunt can spark anything for the Yankees offensively. First hit of the game for the Bombers. Here is Voigt. Voigt could erase it. Five, four, three, double play. So erase the bunt base hit by Gallo. That's a five, four, three. Voigt doesn't run all that well. Easy double play turn. Now here's Jeffers. Two on, two out. Looped in the air to shallow center. Gardner there, inning over. Heel settles down after a tough beginning. So there's one away with Wade at third. And that will bring up LeMayhew. LeMayhew drives that to right field. Kepler back at the wall, leaping. Did he grab it? He did. What a catch from Kepler. Wade will trot home on the sacrifice fly. Yankees on the board, but an outstanding play. Looks like he catches every ball. He should have, and then he makes some great plays on top of it, just like this. He's as solid as it comes, I think, in right field. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The Yankees are down five to one. They've been held to two hits by a gaggle of Minnesota pitchers. And the old two swing and a miss, and down he goes in a breaking ball. So two fastballs and a hook. And Stanton strikes out. 
So one down first strikeout for Duffy on a great knuckle curve. Here's Joey Gallo as one of the two Yankee hits. I think one out here in the seventh that makes sense for him to hit it to the moon. Well he hit it to the moon. 5 2 game. Joey Gallo with his 33rd home run of the season and the Yankees creep a little closer. And how about Joey Gallo the Yankees have three hits two of them by Gallo one a drag bunt and the other a, a Gallo type home run. Well, if the Yankees are going to turn this thing around and if they have another streak in them that guy's going to be right in the middle of it. Well Rizzo pinch hitting and ahead three and oh now. Sanchez on deck to pinch it as the Yankees try and get something going here in the eighth. And Rizzo works a four pitch walk. The leadoff man on, down 5 2. Sanchez skies that down the left field line. Ref Snyder down to make the catch for the first down. And if Gardner gets on, he is a tying run. The payoff. Ball four, Gardner works the walk, and Judge will come to the plate as the tying run here in the eighth. Another high curveball that Duffy does not get the call on. Well, Rocco Baldelli still upset about those high curveballs that caught the top of the zone but were called balls from Tyler Duffy. So Baldelli's been tossed. The Yankees hoping their offense's day is just starting. Crowd finally with something to cheer about. First and second, two out, Yankees down three, bottom of the eighth, and Judge up against Coleman. Judge drives that in the air to deep right. That ball is gone! Aaron Judge drops the gavel. A three-run game-tying homer. It's 5-5. Aaron Judge returning to MVP form this year by staying healthy for the majority of the season. And some juice and electricity in the ballpark. Arise at second. Buxton at first. Chapman against Polanco. Lifted in the air to left center. Gardner tracking under it there. Inning over. One down and here comes Gary Sanchez. Pinch hit in the eighth inning. Sanchez rips that to left field. A base hit. Torres rounding third. That will do it. A much needed walk off win in the Bronx as Sanchez ends it and the Yankees win it in dramatic fashion a 6-5 come from behind victory.